deal for the Los Angeles Lakers. They remain without a coach, a big man, Pau Gasol. He recently chose to leave for Chicago as a free agent, and uh, the Lakers missed out on Carmelo Anthony. However, Kobe recently said with 100% honesty that he's, quote, very happy with the effort that the Lakers made this summer in trying to land Carmelo Anthony and retain Pau Gasol. He said he's very happy, Stephen A. You buying that? Well... <laughs> First of all, you can't be happy with this roster. I do believe he's happy with the effort of the Los Angeles Lakers. I, I don't believe Kobe's lying about that by any stretch of the imagination. They had 30 million in cap space. They did go after the marquee names. They did make phenomenal presentations according to LeBron James' camp as well as Carmelo Anthony's camp. Uh, it was very impressive, um, and, and, and the effort was there. So I think in regards to that, Kobe is very, very happy because that's something that's been somewhat of an aberration because a legitimate argument could be made that that wasn't something that transpired in the past in the Jim Buss era. With that being said, you can't be happy with this roster. I mean, don't give me that. I mean, Kobe sit there and, 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 tell, and tell us that. There's some swamp land in New Jersey. I, mm -hmm. I, I've got something to add to somebody. Sure. I mean, we got to look forward to Julius Randle, assuming that he's going to be kept on the Lakers roster. You got to look at uh, Carlos Boozer that you acquired after yep. he was amnestied by Chicago. Not to knock Carlos Boozer. I just think that he needs to be more of a man. The boy is rock solid. He's built like a chiseled brick house. He's in the post. He can do some damage. He just needs to stop trying to be like Carl Malone and shoot them damn elbow jump shots. Call, call, Carlos Boozer needs to get back in the post. But with that being said, you can't be happy with this, okay? You re-signing Jordan Hill and Swaggy P, Nick Young. That ain't going to cut it. The Los Angeles Lakers ain't going anywhere. As far as I'm concerned, they need to do whatever they can to get their hands on Eric Bledsoe. You look at what Phoenix yeah. has done. Goran Dragic, I mean, he, you know, he's, he's going to be uh, a free agent next summer. He's going to be looking to get paid. You acquired this dude, Tolliver and Isaiah Thomas, out of from Sacramento. You clearly are, are, are you're going to have to pay Eric Bledsoe, which is, you you're not willing to do. And when you consider the max that Gordon Haywood out of Utah got offered by Charlotte, four years, 63 million, that was a max dollars right now. It could be an additional year, $80 million, or if you go to another team, four years in the $60 million range. Don't tell me Eric Bledsoe ain't worth that. This brother can play. And so for me, I'm looking at the Los Angeles Lakers, and I'm like, go out there and get a guard like Eric Bledsoe, who's, who had to leave the Clippers because even though the great Chris Paul was there, who, by the way, is in the nation's capital today with our president, Barack Obama, you know, do, doing some things for the community and the young brothers, which is a beautiful thing. The point is, you had Eric Bledsoe there, and he had to leave the Clippers because everybody was looking at him and saying, you can't keep this boy coming off the bench. Yeah. This ain't no Darren Tollis Collison or somebody who can play, by the way. But Eric Bledsoe's on another level. It is time that somebody grabs this kid yeah. and gives him the reins. And I believe the Los Angeles Lakers with the squad that they have need to do that. Quick, fast, and in a hurry, Mitch Kupchak. Because it ain't like any other players came to you. So you better get somebody like him. You're still going to have some money next year. You can work out a sign of trade and make it happen. But in the end, if you're Kobe, you can't be happy with this roster. Mm -hmm. and, and to me, here's my thing with Kobe Bryant. And I got to watch what I say because he's the type of person that, that texts text me, text me yeah. or call me uh -huh. and cuss me out. So uh -huh. I got to be careful about uh -huh. this. But here's the deal. <laughs> My issue with Kobe is this. I don't want to see this damn quote. I don't want to see it. I don't care how happy you are with the Lakers' effort. What does effort mean without production? You understand? You can appreciate it. But if there's no production, then what does it matter? These are the last two years of Kobe Bryant's career. You knew you wanted to go win the title a couple of years ago. You knew you wanted to go win it last year. Even when you came back, you damn sure know you ain't going to win it now. I mean, how many years of futility in the, in the twilight years of his career does this man have to suffer from? Five-time champion, scoring champion once, former league MVP. The man deserves to be in a better situation than this. And I'll close up by saying this to you, Skip, because I was thinking about you when I said this on SportsCenter this weekend. Everybody keep asking the question, couldn't Kobe have taken less? You know what my response is, Skip Bayless? Couldn't the Lakers have offered less? Where Kobe going? Kobe is the lifer. Yep. Kobe ain't leaving. The Lakers didn't have to offer him $48 million. They could have offered him $38 million and he still would have stayed. 
all right? But they tried to offer him the 48 million because they wanted to come across as doing the right thing PR-wise because he's your box office attraction mm -hmm. who has been tried and true and tested, mm -hmm. and he's been there for you. So you want to sit there and say, well, we take care of our own, but you played yourself by offering the man more than you had to. Mm -hmm. What's he supposed to do, turn the money down? I ain't mad at him. Look at the Lakers. Don't look at Kobe. Floor's yours. <laughs> the chuckle. Kobe cannot text me and, or call yes, me and cuss can. me out yes, because he, he doesn't can. have my number. But you're welcome to give it to him, and he's welcome to call he's and cuss me out. He's going to tweet you if you don't like he it. He can do that. <laughs> so you raise the issue, and I'm going to jump on this bandwagon. You know how much love and respect I do have for Kobe, but he did take all that money yes. from the Lakers. He's a capitalist. He is a capitalist. He, he also could have said no to that money and said, no, I've got to clear some cap space here because I need lots of help at my advanced age coming off Achilles reconstruction and a pretty serious knee injury on top of the Achilles last year. But now it comes across to me that he might be being paid to be only an ambassador for the Lakers. So the, the Kobe of old, the Kobe I loved and respected, would have never said that about this roster. But it's almost like, well, now I'm Mr. Laker. Now I have to do what they're paying me to do, which is just to be a ceremonial ambassador for the team. I've got to show up. I've got to do the best I can. I've got to give the, the, the put on a little show at Staples, even though Staples now belongs to the other team, the oh. Clippers. Well, yeah. well, that's that's how it's coming across to me. And I hope I'm wrong about this. But when I read, in all honesty, I'm very happy with their effort. That's not Kobe. That's not the guy. That's not the killer. Mm -hmm. That's not the assassin. That's not the Mamba. What was he supposed to say? <sighs> I don't like it. I want to hear him speak the truth, because I don't think that's the truth. That, that happy with the effort? I mean, you, you, you got to go out and get somebody. You have to go get LeBron James, or somehow you got to get Melo as a plan B. So yeah, LeBron was plan A, I think. Skip. Plan B? Come on. You know, I often say stuff like some people should get drug tested. Mm -hmm. I think that America might want me to get drug tested after I say what I'm about to say. And I will preface my comment by saying it's completely and utterly blasphemous mm -hmm. in the eyes of Laker Nation. Oh, boy. Don't but you... I'm going to say what needs to be said, and guess what, Skip? It ain't about Jim Buss. I'm going to sit there and say this. I think Kobe Bryant should ask for a trade. He never will. He never will. But I would love to see Kobe Bryant end his career in the Big Apple. I think he should go with Phil in New York City. I think if there's a way, Kobe Bryant should find it. If you're the Los Angeles Lakers and Amari Stoudemire is approaching the last year of his contract, you understand? If I'm the New York Knicks and Phil Jackson, it's the Mecca, it's Gotham City, so wait, Kobe wait, Inc. Is, wait, the brand. Listen, Phil is going to swallow that much of a contract Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's only an additional extra year. It's the okay. same as, as basically what uh, uh, Amari is making, but it's just an additional year. It's two years instead of the last year, which uh, would make it attractive for the Lakers to take. All I'm trying to say to you, it's not going to happen. I know there's no way in hell it's going to happen. But, but listen, 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 listen. Selfish. I'm allowed to be selfish you in the dream. So I really... Listen, the Lake, Laker Nation, my appreciate Kobe, but the Lakers, in terms of what they have done in recent memory, clearly have not. You talk about a player who can sit there and facilitate use of the triangle, who can maximize the I ability of that. Melo mm -hmm. while taking pressure off of him all at the same time. You know, the triangle and Derek Fisher and the whole nine. Okay. New York, I know Kobe won't consider it it's because insane. he's a lifer. He ain't going anywhere. Insane. I get that. Kobe Bryant, I'm asking you to reconsider. I'm trying to tell you right now. I'm the New New York City, because like, listen, Lakers. Well, it's, it's, it's man, clip. What do the Knicks have that oh, the Lakers would want? Hold on, hold on. You know what they have? You ready for this? Go. Ready? Go. The East. <laughs> because the West, you ain't going anywhere. At least the Knicks. Are no, we... but I mean, what are they gonna give for? Time out, time out, time what do the Lakers want? No, no. What I said is. Amari's expiring contract okay. this year okay, because it, it gets no. you out from under. And okay. under the Andrea Bonianis, even though you don't need both of them. The point is, okay, Amari's contract expires this year. Kobe expires in two years. Again, I know it's not going to happen because Kobe's a life. He ain't trying to go nowhere. He wants to live in L.A. He don't, Kobe don't like winters. <laughs> Kobe don't like winters. He likes La La, the sunshine, he the whole nine. He can't take his helicopter Hey, 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 you, you know what? He can't yes, take he could. helicopter yes, to they work. Can work. There's plenty of space. Have you seen the roof of okay, Madison Square fine. Garden? Okay. You can land a helicopter right on the roof of the garden. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's, there's ways to make this happen. I'm trying to tell you right now, Kobe needs to reconsider. Kobe needs to reconsider, and the Lakers need to consider something. You ain't going anywhere anyway. You're done. The Clippers are far more, even with Donald Sterling, the Clippers are more popular than the Los Angeles, really? not popular, but uh -huh. more productive than the Los Angeles Lakers. Kobe Bryant should sit there and reconsider and come to the Big Apple, yeah, baby. Uh -huh. Phil okay, Stan, I, Derek I feel Fisher like did. Jim Buss bought him, bought his affections, <sighs> bought his look, ambassadorship. Man, look, I, well, look, did he hey, not? Hey, 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 hey. All I'm trying to say to you is that I did say, I made a plea. In no way, because you know how people lie in the Google alerts and Twitter and they lie and Stephen A says Kobe going to New York. Stop lying, stop fabricating and twisting my words. Oh, okay. I am in no way reporting it. I'm telling you what my personal wish is. I wish Kobe wakes up and says, Kerry Champion, I don't care how much you love your lady. Makes sense for Kobe to That's go right. to New York? Hey. So he could at least compete in the East and Come take on. the Look, East. First of all, they're going no. to the playoffs without Kobe. Okay. They're going to the playoffs without like Kobe. It. Yeah, so you like that? I'd love you it. You like it? You like I, to see I Kobe? do like it. I Kobe like to see Kobe there Kobe, for Kobe's sake. Kobe in Gotham City. Because ah, uh, listen, it'd be beautiful. That makes now, sense. now Eric Bledsoe would start to to, to get nah, him back nah, healthy again. Listen, but, and, and I agree with you. Gordon Hayward is not in Eric Bledsoe's league. Eric Don't Bledsoe's a bad he's boy. A, he is. He's a okay, bad boy. Eric Bledsoe needs more respect. Right now, when I look down this right. roster, roster, even with I, Julius I, Randle, I, I saw Swaggy P at the yeah. ESPYS. Yeah. Hey, how you hey, doing, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can play. And and Boozer and Jeremy Lin, your Jeremy favorite, and Jordan Hill, and Xavier, and Wesley Johnson, and Ed Davis, and Ryan Kelly, and Robert Sacre. That team cannot make the playoffs. I'm sorry. They can't make it in the West. They can't. No. And, and as a result, you've not, now again, another year of Kobe's career wasted. You know what? He's going to go in the Hall of Fame as a Laker. Yeah. You'll always be remembered as a Laker. But, 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 but yeah. help no. resuscitate no. Gotham City, no. man. Kobe, come Kobe. to the Big Apple. Kobe, send him a text and tell come him Come to the happening. Big Apple, man. Tell him it's not happening. Come to the Big Apple. Did he I'm text you yet? No. No, 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 no. If he probably cussed me out already. <laughs> I mean, but, but I'm just telling you. I think he's flying back from Seattle. Oh, yeah. Why he went to Hey, Seattle? hey, hey. I don't know. Hey, listen. 22,000 people showed up to that softball game. To watch the Seahawks. You know? Yeah, yeah, but that's they good. didn't mind watching Kobe who smacked the homer. He did. Back to back with Sherman. Credit where credit's due. Coming you up sure next. You sure that wasn't dangerous for Kobe to do? No LeBron, no problem for York. D. Wade. You know why? Because he is getting it together. Pound for pound, he is coming back. Pound for pound. Pound for pound.